What's up everyone? Darcizzle and Puddin here and we are about to go on our road adventure. Yeah, we're starting another fishing trip. We're actually going the marathon for I think it's only 36 hours, Darcizzle. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing two trips. We're gonna yeah. bum rush it. Yeah. Uh, we're going with our good friends uh, Dave Sugar yep. and Jamie. Sweet and enough charters. Sweet enough charters. We've gone with them many times before and it's gonna be great. So we're well, hopefully we're gonna have two fishing trips out of this. Yes. And I want to thank Landshark Lager yes. for helping us along. Of course. And of course we're about an hour late, so let's get on the road. I know, half an hour. <laughs> Relax. Alright, let's go. All right. Do. We made it. Came to the room first, dropped off our stuff. In this nice little room. Now it's time to go fishing. All right, we are at the fishing spot. We're in about 200 feet of water fishing a wreck and we're doing a drift over it. We have really slow drift today. Current wise, it's not moving too fast. So we got lines down, we got a big old leader, which you guys always see in my, all my videos. I fish the same exact bottom fishing leader as Captain Dave Sugar. But we got, again, Captain Dave Sugar fishing with Danny, fishing with our good friend, Chef Jamie, and an awesome fan of ours, Carla. And again, dropping down my line. We're gonna see what happens on this drift. Hold on, I'm gonna get the fish up. Come on. Oh, it's digging again. Whatever it is, it's a nice fish. And we are fishing deep water today. It's a tough, tough bite today, guys. Sorry, I gotta catch my breath. Out here with Captain Dave Sugar of Sweet Enough Charters. And we've been fishing for hours. I mean, hours. I've been sitting here with the rod, being super patient, trying to actually hook a fish. This is the first fish I've hooked for the longest period of time today. Let's see if we can get into the boat, though. Got a long way to go. Whew. We tried some mangrove fishing, yellowtail fishing, and then we came out deep and tried mutton fishing. And I got a live tin fish down in like 200 feet of water. This is a nice fish. Oh, color. What is it? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ah! Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. I'll take it. Ah! Hell yes. Hell yes. Thank you. What? Oh, you picked his butt. Oh, man. Look at that. She's Scales all blown up. Now. All right. Here, we can get that weight. Get okay. All right. Heck yeah. Is that like an eight pounder? Nine yeah. pounder? I would say it's closer to 12. Nice. Maybe even 15. That's what I'm talking about. Looks perfect. All right. It's been, again, like a really, really frustrating day. This just made my day right here, this fish. Um, and it's just persist persistence and patience and being out there in the water and having your line down at all times, even on really tough, slow days. This is one of the slowest days out here. But again, we just got the fish to bite this afternoon. And look at that stud. And I think it's only going to get better from here on out. But again, hours for me to catch my first fish. And it's a giant! Heck yeah, Captain Dave putting us on the fish today. Even on the slower days, we're gonna get it done out here in the Florida Keys. Look at that fish. Solid 12 pounder, all blown up. Oh, what a fight, heck yeah. Let's get him in the fish box. Get right back to fishing. Whew, incredible job, Dar Sizzle. Thanks. <laughs> totally 
doing it. I just gotta back it up a little bit, a little bit for you guys, because uh, you guys saw when we started this adventure down to the Keys. It was 36 hours ago. 30, it was about, well, right now about well, 30, 30 hours about ago. About 30 hours ago. Yeah. And so we went fishing last night, like we said we were, and it was such a tough bite. Like Very the whole tough. boat only caught like six or seven mangroves. Yeah. Uh, and, but you know, Mangrove and Josh, caught a Nassau grouper, which is super cool. I did. Got some footage of that here for My you. My first ever. Such a beautiful fish. And then, and then we came out today, and, and it's just been really tough. The mangroves, you know, we chummed up. The yellowtail is really awesome. And you, I got some sick underwater footage. Yeah. And we saw some cool birds, all kind of sick stuff. But we didn't really start. Oh, the frigate, yeah. Getting into, yeah, the frigate. And we didn't start really getting into the fish until we came out here in a wreck, um, you know, past 200 feet that uh, Captain Dave Sugar is telling us about. But, uh, Anyway, so it's been awesome. Darcy really turned it around, and then hopefully, hopefully now everybody else is going to get on some yes. nice muttons too. Yes, and I want to mention who we're fishing with, but it, our good friend Chef Jamie invited us out. We're fishing with Frankie, Danny, and one of our awesome fans, Carla. Yeah, she mentioned that before, but we'll make sure. To well, get I that. can include. I forgot somebody. Yeah, yeah, I think you forgot Danny. But anyway, we'll get the faces in here, and uh, let's get on some more fish, guys. <laughs> He's running. <laughs> Just got slammed. <sighs> Come on. <sighs> All right. That feels like the right one again. Oh, super hot out here. Dripping sweat and battling beasts. Woo. I feel like I took a shower. <sighs> oh, this fish is powerful. I can't talk. It does. Definitely looks like the right one. Oh god. Oh god. Another nice Oh god. Dig it. Oh god. Oh god. I feel right now guys two monster mutton snappers back to back my absolute favorite to battle bottom fishing if you guys watch my videos but now I really want everybody else to hook up on this boat <laughs> and catch some monster muttons but another nice nice fish he's actually not as blown up as the other one but man did he fight fought good too <sighs> I need to drink about a gallon of water right this second my mouth is so dry, but I am so happy. <sighs> All right, I need a water in my life or a land shark. <laughs> Give me a land shark. Heck yeah. <laughs> Woo! Sick. And he's not really blown up. That's so sick. Beautiful fish. Maybe a slightly tad smaller than that first guy, but either way, a beautiful fish. Way bigger than the average sized ones we catch in Palm Beach, so in Stewart too. But so blessed. You guys want to come out here and catch some monster fish with Captain Dave Sugar out of Marathon? Highly recommend it. Gonna link all his information down below. Sweet enough charters out of Marathon, Florida. All right. We are back home from our 36 hour quick, quick trip to the Florida Keys and it's been just over a year since the last time we were there. And because, you know, it was slow fishing, that honestly that has to be one of the slowest fishing times I've, I've been experienced in the Florida Keys. But you know what? Down to the wire, down to like the last two hours of the trip, landed this beautiful mutton snapper, two of them. And I just feel bad for everybody else on the boat who did not catch one because <laughs> I was the only one to bring it in. So pretty sweet. I think my dad has something to do with that for sure, but that is a nice fish right there. We weighed him when we got back to the dock and he weighed just under 14 pounds, like 13 and a half, which he's tied for the record of my other biggest mutton snapper. Unless you consider rounding him up, he would be 14 pounds. But beautiful fish, nice fish. Let's dive right into filleting this bad boy because I am starving. It's time to go in the house and clean him up using my nine inch blade today from Smith. And I'm going to link all their information down below. But what you want to do here is make a cut right behind the peck fin. 
course you want that sharp knife. I sound like a broken record saying that all the time. Cut all the way up as high, as far into the head as you can. And right now I just hit bone. So cut all the way up, and then turn that knife around, cut all the way down like so. And then we're gonna turn it this way and follow the backbone down. And just take your time and keep your blade underneath the skin and the scales, cause that will reduce dulling your knife quickly. You can see I'm just doing that and making contact with those bones as we go down here. One of these days I will catch a 20 pound mutton. That will be an amazing day when that happens, but I am happy with any mutton snapper that's in over 10 pounds for sure. Beautiful fish. All right, so now that we made that first cut, just start angling the blade back down here, lifting gently and following all the bones. And this is gonna be one heck of a mutton snapper filet. And if you guys watch my videos, you know I freaking love them. So I'm excited to see how Pudding is gonna cook up this bad boy for us. Look how fresh he looks. Looks amazing. And of course, you just always, again, always, always, always want a sharp knife when you're dealing with fish, especially big fish, and they got big bones you have to break through. And then up here by the head, they do have a bunch of pin bones, like I always say. You gotta break those with your knife, just like that. And I angle them up too when I have a bigger fish I'm working with. There we go. That way I can see a little better, just like that. And then angle it back down and go over these rib cage bones. I like to leave the innards intact. Maybe at the end we'll see if we got something in the stomach. And if he doesn't, he doesn't. But he came up from super deep water. All right, so now we're gonna knock off this beautiful side of this mutton. Look at this. Oh, heck yeah. Look at that filet. Gorgeous piece of meat right there. That is a beautiful mutton snapper filet. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna leave this skin on and it's going to act as our half shell for cooking. Pudding already, Pudding already told me he's gonna cook it on the half shell. So that's what we're gonna do, leave it intact. And it also is going to help keep the fat in the fish when we cook it. And it's gonna make that taste extra delicious. So it'll keep everything inside and that is gonna be beautiful. So I'm gonna get that in the house, finish up the other side of this fish. And of course, mutton snappers, just like any other fish or uh, groupers and snappers, bigger fish have nice cheek meat in here, uh, which I have done in recent videos. So I'm gonna take the cheek meat out and then I'll take this collar out or the throat or the wings, fish wings, whatever you wanna call it, which is this section right here. And that is a delicacy as well. And again, we have a video all about that already. We'll link it here for you guys to check it out. But I'm gonna go, up, go ahead and finish this fish and then we're gonna meet you guys in the house for the cooking with pudding portion of this video. Another great job to our sizzle flame and cleaning up that mutton. Thank you so much. And welcome guys to another edition of Cooking with Puddin. And today, in the, in the spirit of the 4th of July, it's July 3rd right here today, we're, we're filming. We're just, I'm gonna do a barbecue. We all love to do barbecues on the 4th of July. So I got some traditional corn on the cob. And here I got butter and salt and pepper. Gonna throw that on the barbecue. And here, of course, I got my beautiful uh, mutton on the half shell. I'm putting some uh, salt and pepper on here. And I just want to talk a little bit about Darcy catching this incredible fish. And I know she mentioned in the video uh, in the last segment or two that she was the only one that caught any muttons. And nothing against the other people, a lot of times it's luck, but Darcy did something a little different. She saw there was not a good bite. And so she tackled down. We always talk about this, you gotta tackle down. Uh, the charter boat there uses 50 pound a lot. Darcy put on a 40 pound uh, leader, even snuck it in there a little bit because Captain Dave afterwards said, hey Darcy, I see what you did with those fish. So he kind of caught her, right? But she also made it longer. She had, I think, 25 feet long. Um, and after those two beautiful muttons, she actually caught another fish which we swore was gonna be a mutton. Even Captain Dave thought it was a mutton, but it was a monstrous jack. And we just cut it off of the boat. We didn't want to deal with that thing, but boy, she fought hard getting that up. But the point was, you know, she caught the, all those three fish, the biggest fish of, of the whole weekend, uh, really the main fish of that day. And the day before that, she also caught the biggest mangrove and, and that beautiful grouper, which that was a little bit of luck. But uh, anyway, so you guys gotta think smart when you're out there, okay, to catch more fish. Uh, all right, so we're gonna put this on the barbecue. And we also, I made a little butter uh, concoction here to put on it. And that was, that's basically some butter and some different uh, spices like cilantro, paprika, chili powder. Then I just mixed it up real good with a hand mixer. And here we are. So we're gonna get outside and put it on the grill. So we'll see you right out there. All right guys, of course I've preheated the grill. Let's take a look at that. 
Ooh, in the words of Eddie Murphy, that's a fire. All right, so we're just gonna get this put right on there. Ooh, and so first I'm just gonna spatula a little of this on here. Look, that looks good, guys. And then I got some lemons and some tomatoes. So maybe we're gonna alternate those. Cause you know you gotta have a little acid on there. And then boom. 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 We'll throw on these. And that's gonna take about 15 to 20 minutes. So we'll see you in a little bit. All right guys, it's about, been about 15 minutes. Oh, look at that. Off camera, I turned these and I put a little more butter on there, but poking this, it seems great. I'm gonna put it in this tray here. Boom, delicious. And then we'll get these awesome. Oh, I got a fire. <laughs> All right, now we got a nice, fabulous July 4th barbecue dinner. Let's go inside and have a taste. All right, that's sizzle time to eat. Dive in. Time to have a land shark too. Mutton's always so good. I already know he cooked it delicious. It is delicious. I may have had some already. And we do want to announce we have some performance shirts finally, not just the cotton ones, which you guys have been buying for years, but now we have the actual shirts that we have been wearing and it's very limited supply. We're just trying to gauge your interest. UPF 50. UPF 50 plus with the hood. The exact shirt that I wear, mm -hmm. okay? Um, and here's the shirt. Again, you'll see in the videos. Here's the front. Here's the back. They don't get to see Brian's back too much, but. No, <laughs> no one wants to look at my back. And you got a nice yeah. bag. Yep. And those are on the website right now. Yep. And, they're uh, going quick. Going, they're going quick. Yeah, again, we only got like. Our, not too many. Not too many. You know, only medium, large, extra yeah. large, and extra, extra large. Because they're trying to gauge your interest. So jump yeah. over there and buy one. And Check then we're gonna do another run and get more sizes and colors and everything else. Yep, all that information is down in the description below, so just please go there, just click the bottom arrow to, to see all that info. But everything you're ever gonna need is there, including like the awesome pendants that I sell, the sterling silver snook and sailfish and redfish and all the awesome stuff I sell, plus the you know stickers and bracelets and all that good stuff. Keychains are behind me. Uh, but yeah, check it out guys if you're interested. We appreciate the support as always. Yeah. But we got some awesome content coming out for you. We've already filmed quite a few awesome videos coming your way real soon. Yes. So stay tuned for that. And as always, just stay safe out there. And I hope you guys get to try this recipe one day because it's the bomb. It's very good. I, I have to say, I will say, as a chef, I think the red snapper recipe might be better. Really? Maybe. It's personal preference, right? Yeah, true. True. But it is still very moist and really nice. And no, it's, it's excellent. On, keeping that skin on. And perfect. it's paleo. Except for the corn. Except for the corn, corn is grain. And the... I know, guys, in this. <laughs> <laughs> I already had a beer, so I'm trying to slow down already, but I'm going to have another one here real soon. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I was really focused on reeling in those fish, so sorry, but like I acted like there was a shark chasing him, so I just was ripping him in. There could be. Ripping him in as fast as I could because I'm used to sharks chasing my fish. So, <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> it's full summertime. Until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep, and keep on, on catching. catching. Cheers.